Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, I'm not gonna do the intro today because I feel like this video is gonna be a bit more serious and whenever I get more serious into my content, I don't like to do the intro because it's all fun and silly and I don't think today's video is gonna be all that fun and silly, but regardless of all that, I want to talk about the fact that I did mention in a few videos ago that I wanted to start collecting all of the Fortnite outfits again. Uh, I'm here to tell you right now that I plan to not do that anymore, so... I just want you guys to know, I do not plan on buying all the outfits again. I heard you loud and clear, I read the comments, I saw the concern, I saw the understanding, and I cannot thank you guys enough for giving me the support that you guys have been giving me. And I want this to be known too, I'm not only doing this because the majority are telling me not to do it, I'm doing it because you guys are making sense. I can appreciate that, I, I'm very blind. To this whole sort of situation and i want to kind of just give you my raw thoughts on everything going on with me and this channel so i wanted to start collecting all of the skins again because i feel like i was missing something with the channel ever since i got my account banned i noticed that ideas for videos have kind of lost luster i feel like that a lot of the attention i used to have on the channel has kind of dwindled down ever since my account got banned and i feel like that's just because my account this is going to sound weird but i feel like my account gave me ideas it gave me knowledge it told me things that i wouldn't have to like look into and i just had it all at the palm of my hands i had basically everything in the game and that helped me with my content, whenever I wanted to talk about skins and stuff, I could just look to my account and be like, okay, this is what I have, this is what it does, this is what it looks like. I don't have that anymore. And I thought in a feeble attempt to try to get back to that sort of spot, I would rebuy everything in the game again, even though I do know that it's impossible for me to get that collection back up to what it used to be. Way too late for that. And I guess I was desperate. I guess I just wanted to just try to recollect everything, even though everyone was basically telling me, you know, it's your decision at the end of the day to do it, but it doesn't look good uh, to be doing that because you're basically telling Fortnite that, yeah, it's okay for them to ban your account and that you're just going to buy everything again. I am setting a bad precedent for doing that, and I agree. I wasn't seeing that at first, but now I'm seeing it, and I appreciate everyone being respectful and kind to me and being constructive with their criticism and not just bashing me for my decision. I appreciate that. So, yeah, I'm not going to be buying every skin in the game again. I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to buy the stuff I like. I will buy all the new stuff. I've, I've said that. I will continue to buy all of the new stuff in the game, and no one has a problem with that because... It's new and I want to actually like use the new stuff, but in terms of like the older stuff, unless it's something I really like, I'm not going to buy it. And I think that's a good idea. I'm only going to buy the stuff I really like because there's no point in collecting stuff, especially when even when I had the other account, I didn't run every skin in the game. I didn't have the time to do that. So why would I do that now? Why would I buy all the stuff now if I'm not even going to use it? So I'm only going to buy the stuff that I like. I will buy all the emotes mostly just because I need them for thumbnails and stuff like that and other stuff that I've already been doing I'm going to keep doing so yeah I'm not gonna buy every skin in the game again I appreciate everyone's feedback and kind words and I want you to know that your voices are being heard with this I don't want people to think that like I'm not listening to their feedback I did say in that video where I mentioned that I'm gonna be buying all the skins again I did tell you guys that I would be reading the comments of that video because honestly I'm really lost on what to do last night I I thought of maybe stopping item shop videos and and maybe doing like commentaries on stuff that I really care about like other video games like I used to really be into Call of Duty and Overwatch what if I make commentaries on those, even though I have promised you guys that this channel would only be Fortnite related because why would I talk about another game if you guys are here subscribed for Fortnite only? Why would I do that? I just don't know what to do anymore. I, again, as soon as I feel like I lost that account, I feel like I lost a lot of my 
viewer base and that really upsets me it's not because of any like monetary value or anything like that like i'm doing very well for myself still i still haven't even taken a sponsorship yet I don't have the join button. I don't have a Patreon. I don't necessarily feel like I wouldn't mind a join button because I have a lot of emotes that were custom made a while ago that I use on my Discord. I could easily just use that on my YouTube channel. I think that'd be a cool idea. But besides that, I just, you know, I don't need the extra handouts or anything like that. But I feel like I could try to reinvent this channel into something a bit different. But I don't want to sacrifice the item shop videos. Those have always been doing well, and everyone always seems to appreciate those. Even Epic Games themselves, someone from the item shop team has told me that they watch my item shop videos just to make sure that everything is actually there that's supposed to be there. And I thought that was, like, the coolest thing ever when he told me that. But there does come a point where I'm at a breaking point. I, I don't have my account. I know I keep bringing it up, but it, it's eating me alive. I don't have my soul into the game anymore, and I'm worried I'm not going to like what I'm doing anymore. I feel like I'm not going to like putting out content anymore if it's something I'm just not enjoying. I do enjoy the game, right? I really do. I do enjoy the skin still. I have n nothing's changed with that. It's just that when I lost my account, I feel like I lost a part of me, and I feel like I lost a lot of motivation to keep going because the the thing that still strikes me as odd with the whole banning thing is that if they noticed that i merged the account back in like season eight or season nine why didn't they just ban the account then why did they wait two and a half years to ban it then i have no idea and that's what really kills me about it is i would i had all this momentum and then it like completely plummeted because of the account banning and it, that just really upsets me and i don't know what to do with the channel anymore I'm just going to continue doing what I've been doing with, like, the commentaries for Fortnite and the item shop stuff, but I feel like something's going to give. I feel like something's going to be like, you got to do commentaries on something else. Like, I'd love to do a video where I go over my history with, like, Call of Duty and stuff like that. Like, I used to love Call of Duty back in the day. Not anymore. It's really bad now. But, like, back in, like, Call of Duty 4 and World at War and Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1, all those games, those games still hold a special place in my heart. And the gameplay you're probably seeing in the video right now is either Overwatch or Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 on PC, people still play it. So, happy to actually go back and play the games I used to really enjoy. And again, with Fortnite, I do love the game still. I love the people behind it. Them banning the account just killed a lot of, like, my steam, I guess. And I needed feedback. I wanted to know what you guys thought of me buying everything in the game. You basically told me you can do it, but it's just not a good precedent to set for them because I got banned. Why would I do that again? So I read you loud and clear. I'm not going to be doing that anymore. In fact, I actually went to Twitter and talked about it as well a little bit. I said that I'm seeing a lot of negative responses to me for wanting to collect all skins in the game again after my account got disabled. I hear you loud and clear and I understand why people don't want to see me buy all the skins again. I guess I just miss my old account a lot and I miss my collection. Somehow in my head, I thought trying to do it again from scratch was going to get that love I had for the cosmetics again, but I can't keep going on like this and will no longer try collecting every skin again again i just want my cosmetics back i was literally only missing three skins and every day i'm asked if i'm getting the account back or how i am feeling about it supporting a game for so long just to have it all ripped away from me it broke my spirit and my love for the game i tried filling up my skin collection again just to have something but it's just not worth me doing so i will always love fortnite for its many opportunities i've been given but i just can't do it anymore there's no use to do so i hear your feedback loud and clear so i will keep doing what i'm doing right now but i just want people to understand that i'm not feeling amazing about my situation right now i'm just not i wish it was different i wish i didn't get banned obviously um i wish i just had like the cosmetics back too like i don't understand why they can't just remove the merch cosmetics and just give me the account back i really don't understand why that's so hard to do but it is what it is i'm you know i'm upset but that's my feelings on it, guys. I'm not going to be buying every skin again. I heard you loud and clear. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. You can leave more feedback in the comments. I would love to read it. You guys have been very respectful to me, and I greatly appreciate that. Trust me, I, when I saw the feedback, I wasn't like, oh, people are just like trying to cancel me, or oh, people are just leaving hate. No, I absolutely understand you guys are leaving me feedback. I want feedback. I don't care if it's positive or negative. If, if you're being real with me, I will be real with the feedback. So I appreciate everyone's time and dedication to the channel. I really do. 
um but that's about it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did let me know with the like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new if you like using me for a supporter creator my code is itf i greatly appreciate it guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you all later see ya Thank you.